Hi guys, welcome back to the Dive in Gma. I'm Shelly, and this is my second Ulta suit video. Um, you guys said you enjoyed the last one, so this time I've been having computer issues. So, and I'm not techy enough to like try to do it on my phone. So, I grabbed two bags out of Ulta the other night and they had some weight to them. I could see a few things and so the possibility that things were in there were good. So anyway, I've already done these, but because there were things in here, I decided to go back because I had seen another item in the dumpster that I wanted to grab. So I went back last night. So this is two different trips to two different Ultas combined into this video. So this is the trash from the two original bags that I grabbed. So this is going in my garbage. Let me show you what I pulled out of these bags. So, we have the Redken Color Extend Magnetics Shampoo and Conditioner. And these are full bottles, you guys. Full. They did not empty these. The lids were still on. And they were just souped up. So, great score. And anything that you guys see in my videos... If you would like to purchase and pay the shipping on them, please shoot me an email to the dive in gmail at gmail.com. Shoot me an offer and I can accept PayPal or a Cash App and I will ship those items to you. Um, these, if you're interested, you can get these. Um, they are 33.8 fluid ounces each. I do not use anything but coconut oil on my hair, and I haven't for like 10 years. So, these are available if somebody would like these. And then also, there was a Bumble and Bumble Bond Building Repair Shampoo and Conditioner. And these are... This is about half, and I'm going to say this is a little, oh, the shampoo is a little over half, and the conditioner is about half. And these are 8.5 foot ounces and 6.7. These are also available. Then we have the Miracle Deep Conditioner. There's only a little bit left in here, so I'm going to give that to my daughter. And then there's this. Lock it. KD. KVD. I don't even know. Y'all know makeup better than I do. I have no idea. But um, it's a foundation. It's light neutral. You can see right there. So I'm not really sure. Like. What that is. But it is full. The little cap is missing. But it is full. That is available. And then there's a Hydromaniac Stay Naked Tinted Glow Hydrator um, Medium Coverage. And I'm not really sure what that is. But right there, this is like almost completely full so there you go this is also available and then we have ultra repair face moisturizer I'm going to keep that and then there's a 
100% pure argan oil, head to toe soothing. It's three quarters of the way full. I am keeping this. And here's the big kicker, you guys. The big score. So that was in the first bag. It was really, really souped up. So I got those out, got those cleaned up. I was very, very happy with that. And then I opened the second bag. And, voila, a flat iron. This is uh, the Leandro Limited Edition Flat Iron. I did look these up. This flat iron on the Leandro.com is uh, $159.95. And of course, you know how they do. The cords are busted. They're cut. But I have this one ready to prep. But the cords were in there. The cords were in there also. You can see there's a little bit of soup on the cords. I have it ready. I have this ready to fix. And then there were also the dog tags that say Leandro on those. There was two of these attachments. There was two of these attachments. There was four of these Zoe, whatever, the Leandro Limited snap bracelet thingies. And there was another Leandro Limited flat iron. And I have already repaired this one. So this one is available for sale. There's where I repaired it. Right there. I soldered the wires, then I used the white electrical tape, then I taped that up, and then I used the rubber tubing, the heat shrink rubber tubing over that, so it's repaired, and the only problem is the little bit of makeup that's on there, so this one is ready to go, and I will have this other one fixed up too so that will be available also again these are normally $159.95 but just shoot me an offer if you'd like and uh, remember that you'll have to pay this shipping and then voila there was the Leandro limited blow dryer hence these attachments so they're with it the dog tag is with it, as well as the bracelet. Oh, and with the flat irons, you also get the bracelet. But this flat, this splitter, I've already fixed it too. So, it is ready to go. And the retail is on Leandro.com. It was $179.95 or 99 And at Ulta, it's $175.95. 95 175.95 so this is also available and the reason why I went back last night to recheck the dumpster that I had found these in is because before I found the bags and brought them home I had saw a couple boxes for these hair dryers so I went back last night because I was hoping to get those boxes out. Well, when I got there, there was a lot of cars parked back by the dumpster. And I never dive when there's people around. I was lucky enough to grab one of the boxes out of there. But the other one was buried and I didn't want to climb in because I didn't want to get caught there. But it's okay. It worked out because there was actually two of those hair dryers so I've already repaired this one and I've gotten it back in the box and the booklet was in the box with it you can see right here the booklet was in there so this one has already been repaired it's in the box 
and there's nothing wrong with the box. So, this one is also available. So, if you would like this one, shoot me an offer, and you can see right there, uh, at Ulta, it's $175.95. Just remember that uh, you'll have to pay shipping with whatever offer. So just go ahead and shoot me an exclusive offer. So that is that. And like on the last video, I said that I would actually do a soup digging video. So when I went to the second Ulta last night, I scored a soup box. Um, there was a lot more in the dumpster, but instead of just dumping the soup bags in there last night, they actually put the soup bags in there, and then they ripped them so that when you tried to pull them out, they fell apart inside the dumpster. So, I was lucky enough to get a little bit in a box, so I'm going to dig in the soup with you right now. So, let me move these out of the way. Okay, guys, here's the box. I'm going to show you inside of there. There you go. This is the inside of this soup box. So, we're getting ready to, I'm getting ready to dig in here and see what we come up with. little pan that I'm just going to set this stuff in as I go. I'll get a little closer to you. Let's see. I'm trying to get it to where you guys can see maybe a little better. Okay. Let's see. This still has the lid on it. Not sure how full it is. We'll have to see. Um, an eyeshadow palette, but it looks pretty used up. Um, here's some kind of a palette. Um, and they trashed it. And here's another eyeshadow palette. They completely trashed it. This has the lid, but it feels pretty empty also. They're all feeling pretty empty, guys. They put, they emptied them and then put the lids back on them. Yep, it's feeling like they emptied out all the foundations and then put the lids back on there. Yep, that's out of my whole thing. And I'm using my glass pan because it's just easier to clean. You probably don't want to use a plastic container because... It would probably definitely stain the plastic. Okay. Set that there for a second. I probably should have put a ponytail in my hair. Or put it up in a bun. Oh, let's see. Oh, we, we have a Spin Me gift card. And another eyeshadow palette that they completely ruined and um, KO'd. And another one also. And another one. So there's like five or six eyeshadow palettes that they completely destroyed. Like completely. Um, another foundation tube thing. They completely cut the bottom off of that one. I don't know what kind is in there. I picked it up once I loaded it and it was plumb full. Where'd this pizza come from? Aldi's. And then there's this uh, other right. foundation. Oh, yeah, I already cooked it. Um, this foundation, it feels like there's a little in it. The pump lid is still on it.
Okay, but other than that, guys, but uh, yeah, they pretty much emptied out everything. Let me wash these off, and I'll be back to see if there's anything salvageable. Okay, guys, now they actually cut the ends of all of these foundations. These are all foundations, and they are all cut at the bottoms. You just couldn't see it. So, nothing salvageable out of there. There was a spend me store credit or a debit card, gift card. So, I'm going to put that in the collection. If you know how to check the balances without going in the store, please let me know because I have a collection of these going now. And I also was able to get a gift card that I haven't checked and another Spin Me card out of the first bag. So, anyway, that ends this video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. As always, please consider subscribing, hit that notification bell. And drop me a comment. Leave me a thumbs up. Have a blessed day. Bye.